Here we are in Advanced Adapters TJ with an Atlas equipped transfer case and torque flight automatic transmission. We have two sticks on every Atlas transfer case. You have one for the rear axle, high, neutral, and low. One for the front axle, high, neutral, and low. Our application today is a TJ Jeep Wrangler with an automatic transmission. Other units will vary in shifter location. These are mechanically shifted shifters for our TJ. We will start off by the rear axle being rearward in high range. The front axle is in neutral. That means we're in two wheel drive high range. From there, to acquire four wheel drive in the high range, the front axle will have to go from its neutral position back one notch to high range and we are now in four wheel drive high range. To shift back to two wheel drive high range, you will merely one notch forward and the shifter will stop. It will not go any farther. You are in neutral. Now, on to shifting the rear axle from high range to low range. The Atlas is a synchronized shift transfer case. It does not like to be shifted at a stop like the original Jeep transfer cases. It requires movement for the synchronizers to work. You will find that this feature is very handy, but it also can cause issues to an inexperienced Atlas shifter. Once you learn these, you will be very comfortable with how to properly shift. We will start off by putting the vehicle in drive to allow us some speed. From there, we will go for approximately five mile an hour and shift the automatic transmission to neutral, shift the rear axle out to neutral and steady pressure. And right before the vehicle comes to a stop, you'll notice it will go into low range. Now we go back to drive, and we are now in rear wheel drive, rear being forward to low range. The front is still in neutral. So we're in rear wheel drive high range. To get four low, we will merely just aid the front axle forward, and now we are in four wheel drive low range. To go back to high range, one notch back on the front shifter, Again, an Atlas does not like to shift going slow. We will increase speed again to approximately five mile an hour, but this can be done even faster if wanted. Automatic transmission to neutral, pull back, it comes right out of gear, and it'll drop right into high range. Put yourself back into drive and you can continue driving. If an Atlas does not shift this simple, there's something not being done correctly. All atlases should be fingertip shifting like we saw. If we put an axle into gear and it will not come out of gear or will not go into gear, something's either not lined up or we have a torque lock situation as in right now. You will notice there is no way you can put enough power on the shifter to get this atlas to come out of four wheel drive high range. The drive shafts are bound front to rear. From there, to relieve this, you would merely either steer left to right while putting steady pressure on the shifter, or a lot of times a very simple on and off of the throttle will then allow the shifter to come right out of gear. This is a feature called a torque lock sliders inside of our transfer case, which is why you will not ever see an Atlas popping out of gear. Now I'm going to demonstrate a very common issue we run into with guys with automatic transmissions. We're going to come to almost, we're going to come to a stop and we're going to demonstrate. Right now we are stopped, engine running in neutral. This transfer case will come out of gear, but if you notice it will not go into low range. People, now it is literally stuck in gear. People will sit on the trail and fight. This shifter, it will not go into gear. What has happened is, even though the transmission is in neutral, the output shaft of the transmission starts turning the input gear, and there's physically no way to get it in gear. 
If this happens to you on trail, the simplest thing to do is to merely turn the engine off and it will go into either high or low. Then we restart the engine, go back up to speed to approximately five mile an hour when shifting from high range to low range. Automatic transmission neutral, shifter comes out, and right before the vehicle comes to the stop, you will notice it easily goes into gear. This will fix most people's concerns with having issues from shifting from high to low range by following those simple procedures. A benefit that guys don't realize on an Atlas is you don't longer have to come to the stop in a trail. When you want to shift from low range to high range using neutral, we're going to demonstrate that you can go considerably faster and not hurt anything as we accelerate through all the gears. You will find that this transfer case actually shifts better. We are now currently doing 15 mile an hour and we shift the automatic to neutral and the transfer case comes out of gear and very easily completes the shift to high range. We put the automatic back in gear. We never drop below 15 mile an hour to make our shifts. And again, fingertip shifting, we are not putting extra pressure on our shifters to allow them to shift. Extra pressure means something's not right or we're not doing things correctly. We want to do a front dig and to explain to those who don't know, that would be front wheel drive only, not rear wheel drive. So now we're on an obstacle. We cannot get this rear axle to come out of low range so we can have front wheel drive only. Guys will put them in neutral and sometimes that will work. But again, the drivetrain is bound. It will not come out of gear. The simplest thing when you're operating with an automatic is two hands. One, go to neutral. While keeping steady pressure on the shifter, let the transmission engage into reverse while holding your foot on the brake. Come back to neutral, and if that doesn't work, go back to drive, and actually you rock it back and forth. And sometimes you may have to put a little bit of throttle and you see it comes right out of gear. Again, I never had to pull hard on the shifter to get it to come out of gear. From there, now we can do our front dig and then re-engage our transfer case after we have made around our obstacle and right back into four-wheel drive low range. Now, we're off the trail, we're to the end of the trail. Front axle comes back, see it's locked little bit on and off the throttle and then it comes right out of gear. We'll go back to high range by going to neutral, rear from low, neutral, high, automatic back in gear and we are driving down the road to come home.